Rejoice in the Lord always. Again I will say rejoice. Let us journey into the depths of joy and gratitude as we explore Paul's words of encouragement in Philippians 4 verse 4, which declares, Rejoice in the Lord always. Again I will say, rejoice. This verse brings comfort and hope, and it helps remind us of God's faithfulness. It may seem absurd to follow the exhortation of Apostle Paul to Philippians, in its chapter 4 verse 4, to rejoice in the Lord in these difficult and challenging end times. Many people are struggling with all sorts of hardships, such as job loss, illness, financial hardship, war and its escort malnourished, and many displaced of war, mental illness, addiction, the death of a loved one, loneliness and isolation due to social distancing and other health protocols associated with new pandemic diseases and the anxiety and stress that comes with the uncertainty of these times. It can be difficult to find joy in the Lord when faced with all of these struggles. However, even in the midst of these hardships, we can choose to focus our hearts and minds on the Lord and find hope and peace through Him. Apostle Paul wrote Philippians 4 verse 4, during a time of great hardships and tribulations. He was facing persecution, imprisonment, and many other difficult circumstances. Apostle Paul endured much difficulty in his life as an apostle. He faced persecution, was sent to prison, and endured a shipwreck. He also faced false accusations and insults, and was even stoned at one point. He was arrested on multiple occasions, and had to flee for his life. He even faced death threats. He traveled extensively, preaching the gospel and confronting those who opposed him. Despite all of these hardships, he remained faithful to God and wrote letters to churches throughout the Roman Empire. He persevered through all these trials and tribulations and was an example of faith and endurance. Paul eventually passed away sometime around 65-68 CE, although the exact circumstances of his death are unknown. Some believe that he was beheaded in Rome, while others believe he died from natural causes. Regardless of the cause, Paul's life was a testament to his faith and endurance, and an example to us all to remain faithful and trusting in the Lord, no matter the circumstances. Yet despite all these trials and tribulations, he still chose to rejoice in the Lord. This is a powerful reminder that we too can find joy in the Lord, even in the midst of our own struggles and hardships. We can choose to focus our hearts and minds on him and find strength and peace through him. In Romans 5 verse 1 to 5, Apostle Paul reminds us of the joy we can have in the Lord, even in the midst of difficult circumstances. As we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith into this grace in which we now stand. And we boast in the hope of the glory of God. Not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings, because we know that suffering produces perseverance, perseverance, character, and character, hope. And hope does not put us to shame, because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit, who has been given to us. In this letter to Romans, Apostle Paul reminds us that through faith, we can rejoice in hope of the glory of God. We can find hope in the Lord, even in times of tragedy and suffering. We can choose to trust in Him and find peace and joy in Him, no matter what other struggles or hardships we may be facing. This is the hope and encouragement we need to keep moving forward and to keep rejoicing in the Lord no matter what. The key to finding joy in the Lord is understanding that God loves us unconditionally and wants us to trust in Him even when life gets difficult. It doesn't mean that we ignore the hardships in our lives. Rather, we hold on to the hope and faith that God will take care of us no matter what. Let's look at examples from the Bible. In Psalm 34 verse 8, it says, Taste and see that the Lord is good. This verse is encouraging us to experience God's goodness and to remember that He is our ultimate source of joy. Similarly, Proverbs 17 verse 22 says, A joyful heart is good medicine. This verse reminds us that joy comes from the inside and that it's important to be thankful and to focus on the things that bring us joy. In Philippians 4 verse 4, Apostle Paul encourages us to rejoice in the Lord and always. This joy can be found in Psalm 5 verse 11 and Psalm 9 verse 1 to 2. In Psalm 5 verse 11, David writes that he will be glad and rejoice in the Lord. And in Psalm 9 verse 1 to 2, David writes about shouting for joy to the Lord. This type of joy is more than just a feeling of happiness. It is a deep inmost joy, abiding joy that comes from a knowing trust in the Lord 
and from his strength and love that he provides us. It is an unshakable joy that is rooted in him, and that brings us peace and hope, even in the midst of suffering and tribulation. The difference between happiness and joy as expressed by David in Psalm 5 verse 11 and Psalm 9 verse 1 to 2 is that happiness is often dependent on external circumstances, while joy is an internal state that comes from a trusting relationship with the Lord. Happiness can come and go depending on what is happening in our lives, but joy is rooted in the Lord and remains stable and steady regardless of our circumstances. Joy is a deep-seated satisfaction and assurance that comes from knowing that God is in control, that he works all things for the good and that he will never leave us or forsake us. The affirmation of Habakkuk 3 verse 17 to 18 is that although the fig tree does not blossom and there is no fruit on the vines, though the yield of the olive fails and the fields produce no food, though the flock is cut off from the fold and there are no cattle in the stalls, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will take joy in the God of my salvation. This can be compared to David's joy expressed in Psalm 5 verse 11 and Psalm 9 verse 1 to 2, which is rooted in a trusting relationship with the Lord and does not change based on external circumstances. Both passages emphasize the importance of finding joy in the Lord, regardless of what is happening in our lives. The angel's proclamation in Luke 2 verse 10 to 11, do not be afraid. For behold, I bring you good news of a great joy, which will come to all the people, is connected to Paul's words of encouragement in Philippians 4 verse 4, which calls us to rejoice in the Lord always. Joy in the Lord is necessary, because it is rooted in the assurance that God is in control and that he loves and cares for us. With joy, we can trust that he will never leave us or forsake us in times of trouble and that he will work all things together for our good. The angelic message related to the good news of a great joy, which will come to all the people, is Jesus Christ, the Lamb of the Lord that takes away all sins of the world, the sins that are source of all sufferings. Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good news of a great joy, which will come to all the people. And Psalm 23 verse 4 declares, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. These passages represent God as a good shepherd, who is always with us and provides comfort, peace and joy in the midst of our troubles. See our video on Psalm 23. We must have joy in the Lord because he is always faithfully answering our prayers and glorifying himself through us. John 14 verse 16. In the world you have tribulation, but take courage. I have overcome the world, John 16 verse 33. This teaches us to always rejoice in the Lord, no matter what we may be facing. For he has overcome the world and is with us always. We read again in Jeremiah 17 verse 5 to 8. Thus says the Lord, cursed is the man who trusts in mankind, and makes flesh his strength, whose heart turns away from the Lord. For he will be like a bush in the desert, and will not see when prosperity comes, but will live in stony wastes in the wilderness, a land of salt without inhabitant. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, and whose trust is the Lord. For he will be like a tree planted by the water, that extends its roots by a stream, and will not fear when the heat comes. But its leaves will be green, and it will not be anxious in a year of drought, nor cease to yield fruit. Watch our video on Psalm 1, where the righteous is compared to this tree planted by a stream of water. These verses remind us that our joy in the Lord is rooted in trusting Him and His goodness, no matter what circumstances we face. When we put our trust in Him and focus on Him, we are like a tree planted by the water that yields fruit, no matter the conditions. We must rejoice in the Lord because He is faithful, and He is unchanging Malachi 3 verse 6. He is always with us and will be with us no matter what happens. He never changes, so we can put our full trust in him and know that he will never leave us or forsake us. We must always have joy in the Lord because he is constantly renewing us and giving us new strength. He is with us, helping us to persevere through trials and tribulations. No matter what we face, he will be with us to give us hope and strength to make it through. 2 Corinthians 4 verse 16. Brethren and sisters, Acts 7 verse 59 to 60 chronicles the story of Stephen as he faces death. In these verses, Stephen kneels and prays to God, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. As he can be seen in these verses, Stephen is an example of one who remains hopeful and joyful, even in the face of death. This story is a powerful example of how we can remain faithful and hopeful in even the most difficult of times. In the Bible, 
Jesus said to his disciples, I will send you the Holy Spirit so that your joy may be full. John 16 verse 13. This verse is a reminder to us that we can always rejoice in the Lord and that he will send the Holy Spirit to fill us with joy. No matter the circumstances, we can always find hope in the Lord and have faith that he will provide us with joy and strength. No matter what trials may come our way, we can remain steadfast and trusting in the Lord and experience his joy within our hearts. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness. Galatians 5 verse 22. This verse again reminds us to stay in joy because it is a fruit of the Spirit. And the Apostle was right when he exhorted us to stay in joy always. We can trust that the Lord will fill us with his joy if we remain faithful to him, no matter the circumstances. So let us rejoice in the Lord and be thankful that he gives us the strength to stay in joy always. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? Romo 8 verse 35. This verse also encourages us to stay in joy because no matter our circumstances, nothing can separate us from the love of Christ. We can trust that the Lord will never leave us and therefore we can be encouraged to remain joyful and content no matter how difficult things may seem. The Apostle Paul was right when he exhorted us to stay in joy always. The Lord's joy is our strength and will remain with us even in the toughest times. Overall, Philippians 4.4 encourages us to always remain joyful, no matter the circumstances. According to the Bible, we are all kings and queens in the eyes of the Lord, so we should always remain thankful and joyful in the knowledge that we are loved and accepted by God. We must remain faithful and trusting in his promises and be willing to face the trials of life with joy and courage. Our trust in Jesus will help us find comfort in his loving arms and will give us the strength and courage to continue forward with joy and hope. As conclusion, all of these above referred verses remind us that true joy comes from having faith and trust in God and in his promises. So don't forget friends, no matter what life throws at you, turn to God for comfort and for joy. Rejoice in the Lord, for his love endures forever. We've learned in this short video that the key to finding joy in the Lord is understanding that God loves us unconditionally and wants us to trust in him. We've also seen some great examples from the Bible that remind us to be thankful and to enjoy God's goodness. I hope that this Bible study on Philippians 4.4 has encouraged you to find joy in the Lord amidst the hardships in life. Thanks for watching and God bless you. Let us pray. Dear Lord, thank you for your unconditional love and faithfulness. Help us to find joy and peace in you, no matter what our circumstances may be. Help us to trust in you and to experience your goodness in our lives. Amen. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, share and subscribe to our channel, and ring the bell to be notified of new videos available. To the next video.